Well, it's the 29th of September 2019. I'm about to play something that a Chinese um, representative, let's say, has said. It's only brief, but it's uh, what I consider to be very, very interesting and critical, let's say. And we'll discuss it after that's done. If we have a war between the United States and China, we have the over South Sydney or Taiwan, you are the frontier. You first should sacrifice for that. Australia. Well, of course. This is the American said that. It's not me said that, okay? So, be very careful not to use the Cold War, not to make troubles with China relations. So, I'll um, just be fairly brief, I hope, with this and um, see what people have to say what they feel about his comments that he alleges that Americans have said uh, that if there's a war between the United States and China, Australia will be sacrificed. What a, a strong word to use. Uh, I would say that if, not just a matter of if, but it's a matter of when there is a war between Australia, sorry, between the United States and China, Australia will be suffering a great deal in areas such as trade. Uh, all of the goods that we send to China at present, uh, which is coal, gas, iron ore and so on, and all of the Chinese goods that we get, which must be about 80% of the big stores like uh, Target and Kmart and so on, would cause a tremendous upheaval in our society. Uh, to the point uh, where a lot of stores would close, international trade would cease, uh, we would have petrol rationing, we'd have uh, our, uh, to work 24-7 to get some uh, two or three oil refineries running and produce things like Avgas, which Australia does not produce itself at the present time. And there are certain uh, other petroleum products that we get from overseas. Uh, that we would have to make ourselves, and we've got plenty of oil here to do that, but it would take some time. So I would say uh, those people, including the media here, and even on this uh, Insiders program, have got no idea what they're talking about it, uh, when, about this on this subject. They, uh, they need to think it through, because uh, they're, they're willing at the moment, both Labor and the government are willing to sacrifice uh, people uh, forget all about um, the million people or plus that are, are put into concentration camps in China. Forget about the fact that uh, the, the communist Chinese government might run rampant over the top of Hong Kong and smash all of those protests and the protesters, in other words, which I believe America would do nothing about. It's only if China attempts to take Taiwan that America would do something. And if you think that's going to be months or years away, and they talk about stupid things like decades away, that's just nonsense. And I would say watch out for uh, the US versus Iran. That is even closer, in my opinion, to, to any battle with China. Keep your eye on the news and everything on, the, on this issue because there's going to be some interesting developments. I, I wish I was completely wrong. I, I, I'd love to be wrong on the issue. But there's going to be some things that are happening uh, that will uh, shock everybody uh, and dismay everybody. So I want your comments, your thoughts, your civil and polite comments, please, on this. <laughs>